Busted, of course, you've had a bit of, bit of time on the, the training pitch with the, the boys after the end of the season, but of course, given it's a bit of a break from the, the season finishing, so obviously the, the actual final itself, I mean, how have, have things been in training? How have the, the boys been kind of keeping themselves ticking over and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, well, it's a unique situation because um, normally you have a, a quick turnaround in games. The, the maximum you have between is normally seven days to plan for a game, whereas on this time we, we've had we've got three weeks to to really set a game plan out um, and we've tried to use training as a as a tool to sort of implement that game plan and um, how we want to structure the game how we want to attack Halifax how we're going to defend against them and um, obviously we've still got lots of work to get in the boys but it's a it's a real unique situation um, and it's it's went well the, the boys are really engaged obviously they understand what a big occasion it is for themselves um, and there's there's all the elements and all the different sides to look at there's the the tech, the tactics, the technical side. Then there's the the mental side as well, which obviously they're going to have to cope with on the day. The the nerves, the anxiety, um, added to that. How we how we like to play the game. We're we're asking them to be really brave, and, and we want the, to dominate the ball. So all all that factors in, and it's just a case of these three weeks is making sure that when we come to the end of it, all the boys are prepped as best they possibly can. So when it comes to the day, that anxiety and them nerves is is at a minimum and we just really focus on, on the performance and, and how we want the performance to look. Yeah, and in terms of the, the squad itself, obviously a, a few younger lads from, from the academy who've, who've been involved in, in previous rounds in the trophy, but obviously been involved in, in training at the minute and, and up to the, the final as well. I mean, how have they sort of been uh, around the place in, in terms of that? adjustment really and, and settling into the the first team stuff ahead of you know what's a, a big potential sort of moment for them yeah well i think the the probably just looking at it as an unbelievable opportunity for them it's a it's a real exciting opportunity um it's not often when you're, you're 18 19 you get the the chance to to train with the first team with a um with a carrot dangle at the end of it of going to Wembley with the first team as well so they've really embraced it they've enjoyed it they've brought an energy which which you get from the young boys and um, we've got a young group anyways so they kind of they kind of blend in with the, the characters that we've already got and um, but yeah it's great to have them on board it's a testament to to skins and then Ben before that the work that they've done with the academy and, and how strong we're looking in in the college department now and we've said all along that our recruitment first and foremost the end game is that it comes from the the college and that's obviously shown that we're we're getting stronger and stronger each year at doing that but as i say it's just a really good opportunity for them brilliant for them and um, they've brought the the energy and the excitement with them and um, they haven't looked out of place either they, they, they're doing well on the on the um, on the technical side they're, they're picking up the the tactical side what the the coaching staff want as well so yeah brilliant yeah and you've mentioned in in sort of past seasons and, and stuff about the kind of having a bit of an underdog mentality sometimes given obviously the, the kind of stature resources things like that at the club obviously with the the squad situation obviously as you've had in the, the quarterfinal and the semi-final where you've had cup tied players and lads out injured and stuff like that who haven't been able to feature do you feel at all like underdogs again yeah well we are definitely underdogs going into the game um whether people think that's a, a mind games or anything like that it, it's simply not um we We've got a real um, tight squad for the for this competition. It's been well documented. Everyone knows that we finished the 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 season, um, and then a lot of the boys went back to the parent clubs, or a lot of them were ineligible. So that was them done. So we're working with a small squad, um, but I think this club is just used to being underdogs, so it's nothing new for anyone. Um, we understand the, the 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 different pressures that that do come with being an underdog as well. Um, but one thing that we we just try and get from the boys is a hundred percent every single day. Um, we turn up to the game. Um, our backs are against the wall a little bit in terms of the the numbers that that we have, but. We're fully embracing that. We're really looking forward to going down there, and um, we believe that we're we're going to win the game. And um, that that's the feeling inside inside the camp, inside the training. We're working every day to make sure that we we have that full belief that we are going there to win the game. And um, sitting in front of you now, I, I believe we'll win the game, and it's it's really important that that filters through and we have that belief from the from the whole squad. However big the the underdog title is, we have that belief from everyone at the club that we are going there to to win the football match. Yeah, and you spoke before a little bit on kind of the occasion itself obviously in in terms of the actual game obviously playing at Wembley in front of a a bigger crowd than <clears throat> usual sort of in the league obviously I think at the minute there's kind of just over 20,000 tickets sold in in total obviously still climbing on, until the actual game itself so for a lot of the boys will be the you know the, the biggest crowd they've kind of played in front of but from a coaching point of view is there kind of anything you can really 
do to, to help prepare boys for that? Or, or do you feel you kind of have to lead them to sort of deal with, with that type of pressure and atmosphere, like in their own way a little bit? Well, we, we certainly can't create... Wembley on that day when they walk out there on the pitch and the fans we can't create that feeling for them all we can do is try and prepare them as best we possibly can um, in training and, and with the game plan so we want to play a certain way every player will have their instruction so we want to try and take as much as we can off them and and just ask them to go out and perform in a certain way that, that that's all we can do as coaching staff we can ask the players to do certain things um, and drill that and train as much as we possibly can show them on the screen how, how we want it to look go out on the field and, and show them how we want it to look and then when it comes to match day that hopefully a little bit of that pressure's off because they, they, they know the decisions that they, that they want to make and they know how it, how it should look um, but Obviously, it's football, so there's going to be th things thrown in there which um, which we can't control, and we're just going to have to adapt to that. And one of them is is the atmosphere that some of them might not have experienced before playing at Wembley. A lot, I think, there's only Mags and Louis who have played at Wembley before, so all that's going to be really new for them. But again, they just got to embrace it. It might be they might be the only time they play there, so they might go on and play there a few more times. But they just really need to to em embrace the day and any anything that comes in terms of any nerves or anxiety, just try and channel it in a positive way and make sure that it, it brings that energy but with a with a clear mind and a clear focus on on how we want to perform nothing changes in terms of we talk about that performance based um, outcome and that's what we're looking for we're looking for a performance on the day that we believe in turn will will get the result but I've said loads of times that football's got two different two different scoreboards. One's the performance and, and one's the result. Sometimes how many times you see the, the best team on the day who have performed really well, they don't win the, the scoreboard, the actual score, which is the one that counts. So we can only control the performance one and we want to make sure that we perform really, really well. And we believe that if we do that, then the, the scoreboard will, will be in our favour as well. Yeah, and, and on, <clears throat> I mean, Webley itself obviously mentioned a little bit there, you can't create the, the same atmosphere they're going to be going into on the, the actual day of the game itself. But of course, the, the boys are having a, a bit of a tour of the place over the weekend before they actually have the, the game itself. Is that something you feel can help, even in the sense of familiarising them with the, the sort of place that, you know, when they, they go there on the actual day of the game itself, it's not, you know, the, the first time a lot of them have been there? Yeah, well, I think it just, it takes that... Um that newness away from them so they can they can channel the energy more thinking about the game they're not looking at things and um, getting things pointed out to them have you seen this have you seen that they've seen it all the day before so they don't need to focus on any of that they just need to focus on the actual game and, and what their um, instruction is for the game so I definitely think it'll help going to, going to Wembley the day before and just getting familiar with where we're going to be the next day where you're going to be sitting with the way we're going to be coming in um, and any little percentage that we can get to help the boys we're, we're going to jump on it so when we had the opportunity to go down and, and have a look at the ground before the game it was something that we were recommended to by previous managers who've who've played in the competition before to do. And I mean, on a, a personal note for for yourself, I mean, you know, from a coaching point of view, kind of being on the the touchline at Wembley. I mean, how much are you on a personal note looking forward to to not only being involved on that stage, but being involved in a, a cup final in the the first time that it's happened in the club's history as well. Um, being honest, I haven't really thought about that side of it too much. I'm just really focused on on how we want to perform on the day. Um, um, I've obviously got in my head how, how the coaching staff want, want to see us play and it's just been our responsibility to make sure that the boys have fully understand how we want them to perform on the day. So in terms of thinking about the occasion or what's at stake or anything like that, if I'm totally honest, I haven't thought too much about that. I, I'm just focusing on the detail of the actual the actual performance that we, we want from the boys. And I think I need to focus on that because if I start thinking about the occasion and where it's going to be and everyone's family and my family coming down to watch, then I, I lose focus and, and the boys the boys need me to be fully focused on what I'm expecting or what we're expecting them to do on the football pitch and not thinking about other things. So I'm asking them to do that. So I've got to expect the same from myself as well. Yeah, and on Halifax themselves, I mean, obviously a team you've played a couple of times in the league over the, the course of the season, but is it a, a different kind of encounter entirely when you, when you come into kind of this situation on, on this stage and everything like that? I think it can be. Um, you see um, big games, cup finals and things that, that don't go the way you expect all the time in terms of how you just think the day is going to pan out. Crazy things happen on, on the big occasions. Um, but obviously we've, we've played against them twice, as you've said. We uh, we had a tough day down their place and we found them really hard to play against in terms of attacking wise. We didn't really seem to penetrate in, in the areas that we wanted to get into. And, and when we did, our actions weren't... 
um, weren't good enough to to create goal scoring opportunities. I think we we struggle a lot with that down there. Then at our place, um, it was obviously a a nil nil. Um, was quite a frustrate frustrating night probably for both teams to be honest I think if you remember the game there wasn't much atmosphere it kind of it was a bit of a strange night and it just seemed like it was going to be a nil-nil all day um, but again there is the atmosphere is going to be ridiculous on, on the day so we don't have to worry about worry about it being a bit steel and stuff like that when we get to Wembley so um, going to be a really hard game against a team who we haven't performed well against on both occasions but we're just looking at that as an opportunity to, to turn that round and make sure that we, we put a performance in against them.